Okay, this is a review of the SAIC Exploranium GR135 Plus Portable Radio uh, Isotope Identifier Unit. Uh, it's a portable unit which combines a sodium iodide gamma ray spectrometer with a high range Geiger tube and additionally has a helium 3 tube for neutron detection. Uh, it turns on by holding the joystick down on position. The uh, screen will come on, as you can see, it has some dead lines, which is common for the older GR135 units. It's a portable handheld unit, which is uh, ruggedized and battery powered. It has uh, contacts for a docking cradle for power and serial communications. And it also has a serial communications port in the backpack, in the, in the battery pack. So there's um, a TRS jack here for plugging in a remote serial port, as well as an external 12 volts DC for external power, and a mode switch for automatic and manual mode. Uh, right now it's set up in manual mode, which gives you access to more of the uh, lower level functionality. So first, now that it's turned on, you can see there's several modes on the screen and you can switch between them with the uh, thumbstick. First we'll go into a search and dose mode so you can hold the stick down for several seconds and enter and to select this particular mode. And right now it's just detecting normal background which is around 6 uh, microrungeon per hour. Um, the dose rate is the top number, and the total accumulated dose is the bottom number. Right now it's passing like 45 uh, nanorungeon. There is a um, continuous uh, plot of dose rate. So first we'll test this out with a cesium-137 uh, check source. This is 10 microcurie. So if you put it down on screen, see the dose rate going up to around 0.86 uh, millirungen per hour, and then the uh, total accumulated dose is increasing more rapidly. You can see as you move this further away, the bar graph or the graph responds uh, proportionally. So. The next um, feature of this unit is you can actually identify gamma ray spectra and identify uh, radioactive uh, isotopes. So, selecting identify mode, now it's starting to build the uh, gamma ray spectrum here. It'll also put out, um, has a readout for neutron counts if any neutrons are detected. In this case, it's just a cesium-137 uh, gamma ray source, so it will not be detecting any neutrons. We can clearly see uh, the main uh, peak forming. Right now, it's set up for a 200, second, 200 seconds of counting. However, since it's a pretty strong source, it has a adequate spectra now, so I'm just going to cancel the accumulation by hitting enter again. So we'll go to peak analysis. It's the analyzing spectrum, please wait. And, it ba and it's reading out uh, 676 uh, KV main peak, so that's not too bad. Uh, next it'll go, we'll go to nucleotide identify. And there it has it, cesium-137. So that's for one isotope. So we'll go back to main menu, and we'll try identify again, this time with a one microcurie cobalt-60 source. So you see the cobalt-60 spectrum starting to form. And we'll give this, this is a weaker source, we'll give it um, some more time to accumulate.
Okay, that should be sufficient. So, canceling the acquisition and peak analysis so we can search for peaks. Analyzing spectrum, please wait. And there are the cobalt 60 peaks. So, nucleotide identify, search in progress, and there it has cobalt 60. And then it also has some more um, non identified background. So, returning to the main menu, we'll just store the spectrum for now. So, this is spectrum number one stored. And back to main menu. So one of the amazing things about this unit is it's very high sensitivity. So going back to dose rate, we'll bring over a smoke detector, and the smoke detector has an americium-241 uh, source in it, because it's an ionization type smoke detector. So right now the background is around Four, saying four microengine, for four to six microengine per hour. So bring the smoke detector up against it and place it right against where the uh, sodium iodide simulator uh, detector is, and now we can see the dose rates uh, jumped up to around eight to nine microengine per hour. You can see that response on the graph. So as expected, uh, it's a very low dose rate. However, the unit is sensitive enough, if we go to identify, it will be able to pick up the americium uh, gamma ray spectrum, even for a source as weak as a smoke detector. This will take a little longer to accumulate, so I'll give it around 30 seconds to integrate up that uh, spectrum. It's a little past 30 seconds, so I'm going to stop the acquisition and go to Nucleotide Identify. And in fact, it does have it, americium 241. So it can identify something as weak as a smoke detector source. So let's return to that menu and go to Store Spectrum. The spectrum number two stored. All right, now let's go to the main menu and set this up for downloading those spectra to a PC. So since this does not have the docking cradle, we'll have to go to uh, maintenance and remote, and select remote mode. It says remote mode active. That enables the uh, rear serial port in the battery pack. So now that we have that, we'll take the serial dongle, just a USB to serial interface and it has the uh, TRS connector. Let's open the battery pack and plug this in to the COM port. Okay, so you can see the lights blinking and I'll aim this over at the software now. So now, here is the software downloading, and that's actually upside down, uh, the software downloading data. And this is using IdentiView, uh, the IdentiView so software, so it has the two spectra data, it has some search data and some dose rate data. Right now we're going to look at the spectra, so spectra 1, there we are, is the cobalt 60. So it has the two uh, cobalt 60 peaks. And spectra 2 is the americium 241 from the smoke detector. So just zoom the cursor in. So you can see the peak here. And there's a peak at 59.9 uh, keV, give or take. All right, so let's export that spectrum data. Export spectra one. So that is export type as ASCII, 
and continue. And we're going to say this as C O 60. Okay, now there's a uh, MATLAB script that I wrote, and that can read in these text files. So we're going to have it read in co60.txt, and there it is. So that is the digital data. This is on a log win scale, but there are those Cobalt 60 peaks. So overall, this is a very nice portable unit. Pretty high sensitivity, a pretty high accuracy. It's portable, which is one of its uh, strongest characteristics. This is a portable self-contained unit. It can save the spectra data and then later download that to a PC. So overall, I'm quite pleased with it. Um, only drawback is when it downloads the data to the PC, it does have some offset on the, uh, the x-axis since it's not a, it does not linearly space the points. So that's something I'm still going to have to figure out. But it's up and running and can be used for either gamma ray or x-ray spectroscopy.